and welcome to a life full of meaning my name's lisa and this is glenn and together we sold a house we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved on board a narrow boat called nutshell and we bought a caravan in devon before we show you how the week unfolded we need to let you know narrow boat life is over this is how the week unfolded good morning and welcome to saturday Glenn is just panicking. He's just put some washing on at Deb's and now he thinks he's left his wallet in oh. his trouser pocket. I knew he wouldn't have. I knew it'd be in that bag. Is it in that bag, Miss Warner? It is, yeah. I knew that. Bingo. I knew that. So we got that. We got a lot of jobs to do today. We'll take you along too. Come on, let's go. First stop is Beth's house. She is going down to the caravan tomorrow and we need to drop a key off. And we've got a caravan update for you. They found a hairline crack in the flue, which they've sealed, but it needs replacing. When we go down in November, we'll have word of it. Right, key dropped off to Beffy. Now we've got a nip into town. Glenn's got to do some banking. Maybe a cup of coffee somewhere, somewhere in the picture very soon. Oh, we go, Miss Warner. I haven't parked here for a long time, have we? Up to two hours free parking on a Saturday. Oh, well, that'll do. I was just looking along at the shops and everywhere looks a bit, I don't know, shut down or tired. And then I look up and you see these glorious buildings. Bank. I've never seen this before and I must have walked past hundreds of times. It's really sad to see Debenham shut. And look at this one. Northamptonshire Union Bank above NatWest. Time for coffee now. Yeah. Breakfast this morning. No payment required. Two hours free parking. Not that long, Charles. So here we are at the little house. Mr. Warner, what is your job for today? Yeah. Let's get these off. There's some stuff on the top, top of the cooker here. So I'm just going to take this blade and see if I can get some of it off. Just in case anyone's worried, this is completely disconnected. Yeah. It's just about dismantling it so it's easier to, to move. The so heavy. Chloe's just popped round to pick up her noodles. Yeah. Ta-da! Looks like new. It's all go today. We've popped back to Debbie's. We've swapped cars. We're now heading back to the boat because we're out this evening with our friends Carolyn and Charlie, Liam and Mel. Oh, Mr. Warner's going to try his coffee in a bag. I'm excited about this. So if you want it strong, you do it to that line, medium. And oh, it smells good. Does it say eight? four minutes mild, eight minutes strong? Oh. So we we'll leave it for six. <laughs> okay. So basically, you twist this bit off the end, and then you just pour it out like that. Looks good, coffee, Mr. Warner. Oh. Let's give it a try. I mean, not that we're some sort of coffee experts. We're not. We just like coffee. Oh yes, I like that. Thumbs up to the coffee bags. Off we go again. This is very exciting. Do you remember when we went for breakfast with Carolyn and Charlie and there was all those horse and buggy racing things going on? Well, the same place has got like a gala of horsey stuff going on and it was like £10 a ticket. Carolyn contacted us and said, to go. We were like, yeah, all right. So that's where we're off to. Welcome to Mary Fun, the All Stars Championship, and I hope you're in a good night. So we're not quite sure of the rules, but they've done the first round, and was it four horses? Oh, and the jump. And four horses have gone through to the next round. We're not quite so sure what happens next. Oh, yes! That 
rounds finished, someone won, they did really well. And then there's going to be the prize given and then the cross Give it up for the International Jiggy Tosca Show! All the way from Russia, I am so pleased to introduce to you the Russian Jiggy Tosca team! Who'd have thought we'd be doing that on a Saturday night? Brilliant fun. Anyway, that's it for us tonight. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sunday. We're running late. Let's get the bags in the car and I'll tell you where we're off to in a second. I haven't even had time to dry my hair. We have such a lovely couple of days lined up. Yes, indeed. Our good friend Paul, he celebrates his 50th birthday tomorrow. So we're going away today to Stratford-upon-Avon and I've organised just a couple of, of little things for us to do over the next couple of days. So I'm Paul, they've arrived, we're just putting all the stuff in the car, heading off for breakfast first thing. Oh, I'm so looking forward to breakfast, I'm so looking forward to breakfast. Let's get some deliciousness. We've had breakfast onto the shooting range now where we're going to shoot pistols and rifles. So here we are uh, on target. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh. <laughs> I like it. This is the deal that we've got. £25 and that's for two people for one lane for one hour. Comes complete with gunfire and a hundred pellets. And you can either shoot one of those or one of those. So it yep. has a 10 shot magazine. It's a smooth surface one side. And if the light catches it, you'll see a nice pretty pattern in the middle there. That's the indexing that drives it around when we pull the trigger on the pistol. If you're a little bit shorter, a lot of people shoot like this. There's no right or wrong, whatever you're comfortable with. And then it'll give you a bit of a kick because it's the spring recoil. You know? I had a go, I didn't like it, so I'm just gonna watch. We finished there, we are now on our way to the hotel. Just stopped at McDonald's. Here we are in Stratford upon Avon. We're just driving around trying to find our hotel. The station will be on the right. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's the hotel. Yeah. Let's go. We are in the oldest part of the hotel. This building is 500 years old the lady showed us up to our rooms so I couldn't whip my camera out and start filming but I will show you because it is gorgeous <laughs> the toilet yeah you definitely need the blind down oh my goodness <laughs> shower's beautiful there's lots of um like slopes and steps this place is beautiful I don't know why I'm whispering I was just having a look out the window and look that place over there it says Shakespeare's new place and it looks like it's got an amazing garden be nice to check that out if we have time just look at this, this church opposite this place is steeped in history so I've just googled it that house over there was Shakespeare's family home from 1597 until he died in the house in 1616. The house was demolished in 1759 and a registered garden has been designed on the site. Oh, so his house was where the garden is, not that building there. Yeah. Look at 
this super beautiful. Lovely, thank you. What you got, Mrs. Warner? I've got a French martini. You slow down, city girl, it could all go horribly wrong. <laughs> right, let's go find somewhere to eat. Look at this place over here, Shakespeare's Hostelry. Yes, that is a Christmas tree. We've got a Nando's, all bar one, ask. Oh look, there's more places down here, Zara. Let's have a look. We haven't found anything that ticks the boxes yet, so we're gonna keep looking. We're not sure where we've come out now. Oh, we're going this way. This looks lovely through here. Well, we've just been into about six restaurants to see if they've got room for a table for four. And they haven't. Our options are, are diminishing. So we've managed to book a table, but it's not for another hour and a quarter. So we're going to put up in the pub. So we're done on the cocktails. We're going back to the restaurant. They should have a table for us. We're at a steak restaurant. Everyone's having delicious deliciousness. I'm going to go for something either fishy or veggie. So I've got the, what you got, ribs? Um, rum. Rum ribs. Barbecue ribs. Oh man. These, these two got prawn cocktail. And I've gone nachos and it's bloody huge. Look at this. They've got the ribs, they've got steak. Glenn's gone ribs, I've gone fish. Do you? Oh, we had such a lovely meal. Service was fabulous. So, yeah, big thumbs up to Miller and Carter's Stratford upon Avon. It was lovely. Good morning and welcome to Monday from beautiful Stratford upon Avon. We're just about to check out and then we're going to head somewhere for breakfast and then on to Gaydon Car Museum. Come on, let's go. Well, I'm very happy that we got a good view of that garden from our room. A new place, the site of Shakespeare's family home from 1597 to 1616. Right, let's go find some breakfast. There's a closer look at Shakespeare's hostelry in the daylight. Again, another beautiful building. Here we go. This is the destination for our breakfast. Breakfast is looking delicious. And we're off. Next stop, Gaydon. Craft. That's me and Zara, that is. Zara likes the cars a little bit more sporty. She loves driving. There's a couple of cars here that belong to Her Majesty the Queen. She's looking for a 1968 Rover. It's here. Look at these bad boys. Glenn used to have one of these. It weren't in green though, it was a dark blue. It was really fast. When we had more money than cents. A 6.2 litre supercharged V8 engine. It was real quick. We're going into this bit. There's another 250 cars in here apparently. This is the Jaguar collection. Welcome. Let's have a look around. Glenn had Jag also when we had more money than cents. So I'll see if we can spot one like it. I've got a Vodafone install. So it's got two areas. It's got back and front. It's telephones in it. I'll put thousands of these on. Mr. Warren used to install mobile phones into cars for Vodafone. So this was similar to the one Glenn had. It was an XK8, but it was like maroon. It was this sort of colour, but that shape. We're looking for the cafe now. Cafe, that's the smallest sign for a cafe ever. Little sign. We're leaving the British Motor Museum at Gaydon. I did try and tempt everybody to go to the National Herb Center. That's just a stone throw from here. Unfortunately, no takers. No takers. Apparently we haven't got time. So we're heading back to Northampton now. Debbie has cooked us a delicious dinner. We are off out. We're in Deb's van. We've got to go to the office, drop some stuff off, do some dispatching. You've plunged into darkness. Let's wait for another street light. Yeah, so we're heading to the office to do some <laughs> dispatches. Every time I keep talking, we keep losing the light. Here we go, some street lights. So, come on, let's go to the office. So Mrs. Warren's got to open the gate. I couldn't remember the code. We need to open these ones now. Oh, 
I've got to drop something in the post box. I don't like walking through the building on my own at night. It's a bit spooky. Mr. Warner waiting. Right, let's get back to Deb's. So that's it for today. We'll see you in the morning. Liam's doing my sister's fence and the big bowl of concrete so we've had to hire a machine to get the concrete out. Okay now look at that. That's no effort. Let's just chunk that out there, look. Good morning and welcome to I'm having to think what day it is. Tuesday, most definitely a Tuesday. Oh yes, it is. So we're at Debbie's. Uh, Liam and Charlie are over fixing Debbie's fence. There's a there's a lot of huffing and puffing going on out there. I have just jumped out the shower. I'm going with Mr. Warner round to the little house. He's doing some decorating there today with Harry. You could tell Mr. Warner parked that, couldn't you? As I might have mentioned, over the weekend, three of our grandchildren have got COVID half term as well. They're very sad about that. I've written them each a letter and I said I'll keep sending them letters throughout the week. Harry's arrived to give us a hand painting. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Let's crack on. Let's do it. Right, I'm going to do a bathroom. There's actually not that much in here to paint. It's like a wall and a bit. Harry's going to do this room. And Glenn is going to go and get some more paint to do downstairs. We were cracked in. We should have this knocked out in, in minutes. I've just realised I can't do the bathroom paint because it's not the right paint. So Harry's got his headphones on so he doesn't have to listen to me <laughs> chatting. But I'm going to come and do some cutting in for Harry. Well, me and Harry have painted this room in record time. How are you getting on, Mr Warner? Great painting. How are you getting on, Harry? What? How are you getting on? Yeah, good. Oh, you've done well today. Well, HE, you've done a great job. Mr. Warner, how much more you got to do? I can't get up there. Just that bit and that bit. H, you know what they say about teamwork? Dreamwork? Yeah. Glenn is standing on paint to try and reach the last bits. When me and Harry did upstairs, I made him do all the high bits because I couldn't reach. Okay. Oh, cheers, H. Uh, I've locked Glenn in. Put... Come on, I ain't got time for this. Well, I'm sorry. I shut the gate and now it won't open. Oh, Harry's done it. Fun. We are just leaving. It's been a very productive day. Mr. Warner is just searching for the keys. The keys for this house. He's mislaid them. Ah, oh, Mr. Warner's found them. Pub Tuesday tonight with our friends Zara and Paul and Joe and Neil and Harry's in the back. He's coming too. We've got a robot out this evening. Paul's birthday celebration. We've got balloons, we've got a party, we've got wine. And I'm not sitting in my usual seat because I'm not keen on those balloons being behind me. Vegan lasagna with chips not and some salad. Thank you very much. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear boy. 50th. Zara's got a joke. What bees give you milk? Don't know. Boobies. That is a classic dad joke. <laughs> This is Jess. She, she looks after us. She decorated the table for Paul and those bloody balloons. It's all Jess's fault. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Wednesday. I'm still at Debbie's. Glenn's gone off to Milton Keynes to work, and then he's going back to the boat. I'm staying here for another day because I'm off to see Harry tomorrow. We're all over the place this week. A summit exciting's going on today. Well, Potentially two things exciting is going on today. Number one, I'm doing a midweek meaningful conversation with Maxine and Paul. We're going to do that at 12 o'clock. I'm so looking forward to it. We're going to record it and share it and live stream it. If anybody else fancies a good conversation, come join us. And then potentially this afternoon... I may be going out with my friend Zara and Joe. So Zara's got a week off, Joe finishes work at one o'clock and I'm free this afternoon. So we were all like, shall we do something? Good morning and welcome to Wednesday, otherwise known as 
work Wednesday for me. I'm actually really early because we stayed at Northampton last night. It's only half past eight. I don't officially start till nine. There's a Costa. So I think I'm gonna get something. Oh my goodness. I've just done our first meaningful midweek conversation with Maxine and Paul and it was so lovely, so great. I feel full up with good conversation now. Oh, lovely. Anyway, I'm off out. Gonna meet my friend Zara. We're gonna go for a stroll around Delapri Abbey. Come on, let's go. I've arrived at Delapri. Zara's just text, say she's caught up in some really bad traffic. So I'm gonna go for a little stroll and grab a coffee while I'm waiting. Just grabbed a vegetarian roll and a flat white. It's a real blowy autumn day. Oh man, this is so good though. We're just saying there's a walking route around here. There's a lake and everything. But I'm not sure where it is. It looks like it's that way, but that way's blocked off. So let's 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 go this way. We're going into the dark, dark woods. Oh. Yeah, look, there's like a little bench here, and is it stepping stones or like a little bridge? A little bridge over here. I've never been this way before. We've just been wandering around like, where's this lake? And we've just caught sight of it. And here we go, Delapri Lake. This isn't the lake that you see from the A45 that they sometimes do water skiing on. I think that's the dual carriageway. I can't see where people would would do water skiing from here though. Or maybe they used to do water skiing here years ago but now have reclaimed it for nature. Who knows? Let's go this way. This tree is like forming an arch over the pathway. We found the building. It says Northampton Water Ski Club. I wasn't going mad. There's another lake through there, a smaller one. It looks like a swamp. Yeah, that's definitely the dual carriage right there. The path is splitting. I think we should go left. You think we should go left? Yeah, let's go left. Let's you go left. Okay, all right, I'll follow you. I should have warned me well, shouldn't I? Well, we've only come back to where we started. We surprised ourselves there. So, anyway, there's cake on the menu this afternoon. There's a lot of good looking cake Bake here. Bakewell. Bake Which one are you going? Cherry, Cherry Bakewell. Bake Cup of tea. And look at that. Oh, I actually feel quite sick after that cake. Yeah, shouldn't have had it. Anyway, back to Debbie's now. Mr. Warner, well, he's going back to the boat today and I'm staying at Debbie's because I'm at Banbury tomorrow. Anyway, come on, let's get back. After eating that cake, I feel, the only word is nauseous. I feel so sick and I've got a splitting headache as well. Just came on straight after the cake. Check out my new uniform. Not sure I'm loving the blue, but anyway, I've just finished. I'm going back to the boat, Mrs. Warner's at my sister's. Looks like Mrs. Warner's been doing a lot of thinking today. Some of it I'm not sure about. I need to have a little chat with Mrs. Warner. There's conversations to be had. So Deb's home from work. She's brought delicious food. Chloe's popped round and she's brought delicious food. Chloe, what are you going to make tonight? We're having spinach, feta and slow roasted tomato pie. Oh, Chloe, it sounds delish. Oh. And for pudding? Uh, we have got a lemon tart. Oh, yum. Yeah. Okay, my darling, let's do this. Let's do this. I haven't cooked with phyllo pastry for ages, Chloe. So, chopped tomatoes, wilted spinach, Feta, pastry, egg. What's not to like, Chloe? I know. Oh, this feta smells so good, Chloe. Chopping up the spinach. Yep. It says spoon in the filling. Oh, that's looking good. So good. I'm like a backseat chef, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving instructions from afar. Pie's done, looking delicious. Chloe's done some halloumi with a sweet chilli sauce. The little roasters are done and we've got a plate of yumminess. Are we ready? We're ready. Oh, oh it sounds oh, crunchy. Good. Oh, it hasn't stuck to the bottom either. No. Oh man, that looks good. So I'm just back at the boat. 
yeah, a f funny old day today, back at work. Not got a short work week this week because I have got to pick my mum up on Friday and she's coming up to my sister's for the weekend and we've got to do a couple of things with her. So we'll see how that goes. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. I'm really struggling with the days of the week this week. Yeah, definitely Thursday. So what is going on today? Well, Glenn is at work and I am off to Banbury to go to the cinema with Harry, Oliver and Layla. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to go and see the Adams family, the second one. Kids are well excited. After Banbury, I'm heading back to the boat and uh, me and Mr Warner, we've got stuff to talk about this evening. Uh, changes need to be made, I feel. I'll see you when I get to Banbury. So I've just tried paul's magic trick but i wasn't very good was i you spotted that it was in my other hand yeah yeah well, i was a bit well i need to practice that don't i yeah yeah anyway layla's gonna have a go at a magic trick now where's the coin go oh, the coin's gone the coin's gone oh, she's good oliver's now gonna do a magic trick with the coin which hand is it in that one. Oh. Not that one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Oh, where's the coin gone? We've just been to the cinema. What have we seen? The new Adam's Family 2. It, was it good? You were a good boy, weren't you? Let's mm -hmm. ask Layla. Layla, did you like it? Yeah. Was it good? It was Suki, I do like it. Okay. Should and we, I loved it. Should we go get some lunch? Yeah. yeah. Look at that big church! What can you see? Oh, that's lovely. Come on then. That's a mega sausage. That's a whopper. Yeah, I've got this. When it goes off, when it makes a noise, my food's ready. I've got a vegan burger coming. Harry has a delicious Greek wrap there. And, and some chips with, what have they got on? Paprika? Look at my vegan burger, that looks delish, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. And you're gonna go this one, passion fruit. Why oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, that looks delicious. Yummy. So we've just got back from town, we've had ice cream, we've been to the pictures, we've had some lunch. It's all been good. I'm heading back to the boat now. I'll see you when I get back. That was a long journey back, hour and three quarters. Only usually takes about 50 minutes. Well, good evening. Major conversations being going on about the future of our lives. Oh, it's all a bit dramatic. We'll fill you in once we've decided on rock steady plans. I mean, we keep changing our mind every two minutes. Change is afoot. That's all I can say. Big change is coming time to get some dinner on i was so lazy i stopped at the shop picked up this on the way back got some rice got some salad and got some what the clock gonna bring that all together mr warner has not watched bake off he's waited for me what a good man he is so we're gonna sit down and watch bake off this evening yes it's been a traumatic day with lots of decisions to be made but anyway let's crack on with dinner so man this is a meal that's just come out of packets I've got the rice the salad i've added the dressing the salsa's out of the packet this i just added a few bits extra it looks like a burnt mess but i've tasted it and it tastes mighty fine so here we go let's watch bake off good morning and welcome to friday it's very windy and cold outside so much so i've had to get my winter coat out i have I'll be donning that today. I'm just leaving. Gonna go and pick up Miramar. We're gonna go for a stroll around Tring. There's a museum there. Mr. Warner, he's gone to St. Albans. He's gone to pick up his mum. He's got a couple of appointments and things he's doing with his mum. And then he's heading back to Debbie's with his mum. And then I'll drop Miramar off and then I'll head back to Debbie's. All week, just coming and going, just coming and going. I'll head back to Debbie's, meet them there. Harry's coming over later with the kids. Glenn's mum's staying over for the weekend. Lots going on. But I need to get going, go pick Miramar up. Otherwise, she'll be standing outside in the wind and the rain waiting for me. And that just won't do. So, come on, let's go.
I've got my bag pack for the weekend. Honestly, I feel that these bags are forever in and out the car. Right, let's go. Oh, the joys. The joys of an English autumn. So we've just arrived in Tring. There's a little market going on here. We'll definitely check that out in a bit. We're gonna walk down to the museum and see if we can get in. And the market going on here. Look at that arch down there, Miramar. Should we have a quick explore? Are you in a rush? No, no should we? let's go and have an explore. It's beautiful. But, but then again, I quite like this. Oh, I didn't even notice that, yeah. The little cold I know. Door. Could almost be like a pixie door. It could. <laughs> so here we are. So much to see. Snow leopard. We were just saying how sad it is that these species now are so endangered. I remember looking at this dodo when I was a child and being amazed that it was extinct. Just look how beautiful these ones are. Nice. Miramar, she's like an animal encyclopedia. She's, give, she's, she's given me all the lowdown on all the animals. Look at the size of these all fish. We'd be slightly apprehensive if we saw them in the canal. Got some whoppers of a fish here. This one I thought they weren't getting any bigger. Look at that. Look at that, it's huge. That's Oh yikes. Miramar knows all the names. She's just said, oh, this is a Galapagos tortoise. And she's right. So we had a good stroll around the museum. It was busy. There was lots of kids there because it's half term. But we had a good time. Did you like it? I loved it, actually. Yeah. Brilliant. It was good. It was good. So we're going to have a stroll back to the car. So we're having a look at the stalls here. The fish looks amazing. Obviously, I can't get anything today because I'm off to Northampton in a couple of hours but it does look good. And a bakery as well. Miramar's getting some donuts. She's getting some cheese. Oh, oh cheese sticks look good. And look, they've got some Banbury cakes here. I went to Banbury yesterday and couldn't find any Banbury cakes, so. We, 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 a few, we do Banbury Market twice a week. Oh, We're do you? So this gent says that he does Banbury Market twice a week and he's only one of the only people that that make them. Boy, I've just dropped Miramar back. I'm on my way back to Northampton. I just feel that I continually drive between one place and another. It's 20 past one, I've had no breakfast. All I've had is a cup of coffee this morning, so I'm gonna stop and get a sandwich. So I've just got to Deb's Glen and his mum's here. Let me pop you there. I am balancing you on the oven. Anyway, this has come through. Exciting place. These are for Maxine. So Maxine, who was on the chat with me and Paul, she publishes these beautiful journals. Look at these. Oh, I can't wait. 31 days life-changing journal. Maxine has a real story to share. Thank you, Maxine. They are fabulous. Come on in, come on in. I haven't seen you for a while, hey? I know. Spooky chicken. Spooky chicken? Yes. <laughs> the train stopping at platform two is the 655 to Oliverland. The train's going to stop at Oliverland again. Okay. It's going to stop at Oliverland. <laughs> yeah, the train's going to There we have it. Decisions, 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 eh? Yeah. What a uh, what a roller coaster of a week. There are so many factors impacting our decision. We'll share those with you over the next couple of weeks. Definitely going to revisit the canal network. Keep our eye open. I know that a lot of people watch our channel because. We live on a narrow boat, and I'd like to say thank you. Thank you so much for being with us for that journey. It's been nearly five years. After we made the decision that we're going to be leaving Nutshell, I did think about giving up vlogging, but I realised that that search for a meaningful life still goes on. So I'm going to continue, but we understand but not, it might not be everyone's that cup of tea. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Stick with us if, we want, if you want to. Mm. 
if not thank you thank you for your time and your energy and for all your comments talking of comments i haven't answered many this well, week done. I've done, done all the, I've done all the YouTube ones. It's me. It's me that, that does all those. <laughs> I do so. the editing. Glenn's doing the comments lately. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so, you for yeah, that. I've, I've, oh, I, don't, not, I don't do well, Facebook though. No. Or any of the others. Just the YouTube ones. Oh, well done. I'll well done. Through them. Well done. Um, Excellent. And I do try to respond to each and every one of you independent. Don't think I just cut, cut, cut and paste stuff because I don't. <laughs> I put effort into every comment. We're obviously putting Nutshell up for sale. We're still getting the house ready. We're still going to be coming back and to we're backwards not, and forwards. Officially, I think we're moving to the house properly about on the 1st of December. We are seeing it as a sort of 12 month plan. Yeah, yeah. We really want to build up some of our savings again after um, COVID, COVID and lockdown yeah. sort of obliterated our savings. That's just one of the factors. As I said, there's lots of different factors. We knew we had to make this decision yeah. a couple of months ago. Especially, you know, coming into winter as well. If we were going to do it, we needed to do it this side of Christmas really. So We had to be brave enough to have yeah. that conversation. We love living on the boat. It wasn't working in all areas yeah. of our life. There's only so long you can go on ignoring that force. Yeah, yeah decision if made. Anyone, if anyone's got any deal wrappers, give me a shout. <laughs> Mr Warner. <laughs> <I'm still laughs> about 40 foot. We've got one trip left on Nutshell, yeah. which we're going to do towards yeah, the mid, yeah, yeah, mid to end of November. So viewings along the canal will be absolutely fine. Grand Union, if you're there, you want to come, <laughs> look, you want to come and have a look at Nutshell. A nutshell. If you fancy a 70 foot boat that's well loved, then please come get in us. touch. Anyway, Nothing. what a week. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye.